right, first, mm -hmm. obviously, the gorgeous, brand new 911 GT2 RS. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, earlier this year, we announced an exclusive six year partnership with Porsche. We obviously announced this car to the world. Uh, it's great for uh, fans here at Gamescom. The car is actually here on the show floor, uh, and it's a beast. The fastest production 911 car that they've ever made. Uh, fans can go check it out, and it's great again. If you know, if you're not at Gamescom, you're not in Germany. You can drive it uh, in Forza Motorsport 7, which Excellent. is awesome. Yep. So, a couple of things we're going to walk you through today. I'm going to walk you through our brand new campaign. I'm going to show you some of our brand new gear. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Mm -hmm. All right. So here we have our brand new campaign, the Forza Drivers Cup. And what we really wanted to do for our players, you know, we've got a bunch of campaign players, and they really want, you know, something that's motorsport inspired, that they can pro progress at their own pace. And so for the Forza Racing Championship, they've got six major championships that they work their way through to get to the, 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 the creme de la creme, the Forza Drivers' Cup. And it spans, you know, the car division span the over 700 cars we have in the game. And what's great, it's motorsport inspired in that you can have series point scoring. Um, and, and what's different between the real world versus what we can do is with the different divisions that you have from LMP cars to to rally cars, muscle cars, you're going to see some, some really cool ones in here. You know, those series points, they carry between divisions, and that's not something they do in real motorsport. Uh, so it's cool to do that to our fans. Okay. And not only that, fans are going to get really exclusive gear. So as they progress through, they'll get exclusive driver gear or Forza Edition cars. Now, Forza Edition cars are awesome because they'll have unique tunes tied to them, wide body kits. Uh, we've got some really cool uh, mod uh, effects, like they get more credits and more XP when they use them, but they can only get them uh, by completing these championships. I love that you're bringing in those collectibles. It's almost like loot, right? It's, it's great, absolutely. And, and when I tell, I'll show you at the very end when we get level up and reward, there's some really cool things that we're going to be doing to reward the players. So here we are in the first championship, the secret championship. And again, you can kind of get a sense of some of the, the diversity, you know, trophy trucks, you know, the supercar, racing the, the, the McLaren F1, an awesome car, yeah. uh, the 959 to, you know, the Polaris Razor, you know. There's such diversity players can do. And so as they're going from race to race and they're completing their, their car divisions, getting series points, if they fall in love with a car and they want to stay in it longer, they can take it to any one of the open divisions, which right. is cool. So players can go through and you know, stay with that car longer. Now, if you're familiar with Forza 6, we had what was called showcase events. Yep, yep. Showcase events are really cool ways to highlight unique cars, unique modes of play. We got limo bowling. <laughs> um, but more than that, it was a great way for us to, to engage players with our, with our um, automotive enthusiasts. And we've got some great ones for Forza Motorsport 7. People like Ken Block, yep. Magnus Walker, Lynn St. James. And so you get these great perspectives from these, these race car drivers from past and present, these, these car enthusiasts. And they tell you, again, what it's like to be in a car at peak. Or, you know, we've got some, some car uh, uh, designers that actually build cars. And they, they tell you, you know, the feeling of going from clay to what it looks like when it rolls out off the factory floor. That's cool. But more importantly... It's all about car collecting. And the cars that you race in these showcases, you can only get here. Right. And car collecting is going to be a huge component to Forza 7. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, at the very end. Uh, for now, let's jump into the exotic GT series. Let's stick this GTR for a spin. One other th really cool thing we wanted to reimagine for our players is, is keeping them on track, doing what they love. So with interactive loading, they can change their car, they can tune. Oh, I love that. And they can change their driver gear. Nice. So for the first time in Forza, we've pulled the driver out of the car. And we have over 300 racing uh, suits that span, you know, decades of race history. You know, when men were men and they <laughs> killed themselves because they wore leather helmets to, you know, the modern day, Whoa. you know, racing with the Hans yeah, device. Cool. Um, you know, for, and then, you know, the whimsy of, you know, <laughs> what it would look like on track. You know, and it was really great for us to be, you know, to think about obviously <laughs> multiplayer and that pulling the good with your That's a really good one. Talking, I was going to say, and this, is, this demo is all dad demo, by the way. 100% dad demo. All the dads yeah, together. Yeah. But also for both male and female drivers. So if yeah. you want to do that too. But what's great, again, about, you know, you think about multiplayer, showing up to the podium, seeing, you know, these unique pieces of gear. But even in the campaign, in the Drivers' Cup with our Drivatar system. So, you know, your driver cars learn how you drive. They use your cars, your, your liveries that you have. And now they're going to have the drivers that look like yeah. you. So um, your driver is really going to be yes. a lot of personality around that, right? Absolutely. Which I think, uh, the Forza community has been asking for. Absolutely. I mean, we've, we've 
always focused on the car. The car is the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulling the driver out, it's 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 allowed us to make the the, the environment feel more human. You know, we've, you saw earlier we were in a garage, and pulling the driver out gives a sense of scale and weight to the scene. Uh, well, there's so, so many great personalities and characters in the Forza community already. I think this is going to be another way for them to really like, you know, have their character visible. Absolutely, to and I can't wait. There's going to be really unique rewards in the way that we play these things. All right, all right. So let's jump on the track. I'm going to choose this one just because it looks so awesome. All right. So today's demo, a track again. We're not showing on the show floor. I'm taking you Excellent. to Suzuka. Good. Uh, some really cool things. Before we hit the track, really quick. Another one of the cool things we've reimagined for Forza 7 is our mod system. So mods is something we introduced in 6, and it was a way for players to get boosts uh, and some extra credits. And we've really doubled down on it now. So you used to have to change your assists, and based on your assists, you get more credits. We've pulled that system out entirely. Okay. So for players, they can pause the race, change their assists, and be fine. Now it's all about mods. Right. So you wanna, we want players to challenge themselves, you know. Try to take to the braking line. Maybe don't get, you know, go to, to manual. You know, try to really challenge yourself. And if you do, you're going to get some, uh, some great credits. Uh, and another great thing for our campaign players is now they have race link tools. So if they want to turn every campaign race into a 45-minute race, knock yourself out. That tied with mods, you're going to make some serious bank. Nice. All right, let's race. See, I now like I've got to talk and race. I'm you to... To actually evolve your skills in Forza Absolutely. as well, right? I mean, I, I remember that someone told me that I would... Uh, we were doing a lap time challenge, and they were like, "Do you, are you automatic or manual? And I was like, oh, I'm automatic. And they are yeah. like, switch to manual. Exactly. It'll be painful for a day, <laughs> right. and then you will knock 10 seconds off Absolutely. your lap time. So it did. You know, that was the push I needed to And, to and that's that what difference. we wanted to do. We wanted players to challenge themselves. We wanted them to feel like they had to do it in order to be better drivers. See, I'm talking and driving being terrible. <laughs> so here we are in Suzuka. A uh, track day. that's making a great return. Uh, it's a track we had in, uh, in uh, uh, Forza Motorsport 4. It's awesome to bring it back here. Oh, that and uh, so it's amazing. in the middle of a storm. And this is one of the things, again, going to the Xbox One X. We had, obviously, native 4K, a rock-solid 60 frames per second, and HDR. And, man, I cannot speak enough about HDR. <laughs> uh, but what, what we wanted to reimagine the, the track experience. So here you're going to have a, a, a dynamic uh, a storm that's going to roll through. Um, and, again... You know, we want that feeling of I'm driving and off in the distance I see dark clouds and they start to roll through. I hear thunder, a couple of raindrops. Next thing I know, I'm in the middle of a, of a storm and the, the puddles are going to expand and, and contract as a, you know, the, a, based on the rain density. But it wasn't just that. We wanted to do it with, uh, with sky uh, cloud shadows as well. So, you know, a racing game, as you know, is all about precision and hitting your apex and consistency. Cloud shadows, they really change the composition of a turn. You're used to what the light looks like in your brake markers, and when a cloud rolls through it, that changes everything. Uh, the reflections look, I mean, it just looks incredible. Yeah. Though. I love the headlights off in the distance there, Ryan. That's One of the other new things we wanted to reimagine for players is just that feeling of what it looks like to have a car at peak. And so we went through all 700 cars and touched up wipers and mirrors to make it feel more, you know, it, thrilling a car at peak is it could be a scary thing you know yeah. hearing the driveline flex uh, on the show floor players can actually take the uh, the gtr out and that's a that's a race car and so it's got exposed wiring and hoses and they're just rattling and shaking like crazy uh, it's really interesting i did a panel yesterday with henry ford the third which is yeah. awesome oh, to meet him well and harry tinknell who's a wc yeah. driver and that was what he picked out about ford some more sports seven and, you know he said look he was blown away by the look of it, it looks incredible felt incredible but he was saying the thing that felt so close to real racing for him were those details. Yeah. The fact that things are rattling in the cockpit and things felt it felt like you were on the, the limit of the car. And that's exactly what we wanted to convey to players is like these are these machines at peak, they can really scare you. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pull off to the side and let them win. I just want to show off a little bit of the detail really quickly. Um, again, this is showing up here in 4K and HDR. But again, when we started to develop you know, for, for PC these last few years, Again, we were able to lower our min spec. But if you were to plug the, uh, the Xbox One X uh, into a 1080p TV, uh, it's going to look great. It's going to downsample the 1080p. And that was important for us. You know, HDRs, it's not in all TVs yet. So this game is really future-proof. But if you were to plug it into your TV that you have at home, it's going to look awesome. Yeah, I think that's a really important point, isn't it? It looks amazing. So I just got some points. I made it through and uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you a little bit about my rewards here. All right. So I got some mods. Got a little bit of credits payout. 
Obviously got a big total there, $29 million. <laughs> So one of the things, again, we wanted to reimagine is leveling. It's, it's exactly as you'd expect. You race, you get XP, you level up. With this whole new system now that's tied to car collection. And I'll explain how that works. So if I go from 26 to 27, I get a choice of rewards from credits, car discounts, mods, exclusive driver gear. Uh, now, the way it works is the more cars I collect, I move up in collection tiers. And the higher the tier, the better those rewards are going to be. So I may, you know, get 100,000 credits or 200,000 credits. The, the, the driver gear may be ultra legendary because I have the highest collection tier. Uh, and what's great about that, again, is, is players can then, you know, you see my four. I'm a four collection tier. The higher the tier, it's going to show up next to your gamer tag. And people are going to know, based on the suit, your collection tier, that you're a hardcore player. You're collecting cars. Mm. And you can collect them in tons of different ways. Auction house. Forza-thon is, is a feature we brought over from Forza great. Horizon 3. Excellent. Um, you know, players will be able to buy it in a, a brand new car collection screen, uh, which is really exciting. It feels like... You're, you're really making an effort to encourage Forza players to try out every part of the game. Absolutely. Collect more cars, different types of cars. Use Dip the your toes. to push yourself forward in and your driving again, skills. you know, I didn't even get a chance to talk about our peripherals, you know, so we've got assist, so it's easy to play. But with multi-USB support, you know, we've got over uh, 30 officially supported wheels. But again, with multi-USB, you can take any wheel, pedal combination, H-pattern shifters. Um, you know, I, I keep telling the story, but it's true. We tried all sorts of crazy stuff, like a Guitar Hero guitar we were talking about. Absolutely. Um, and that's awesome. You know, PlayStation racers, they can use the PC, plug in their DualShock. Right. We really want to big players of all skill types, peripherals, and devices together at Forza Motorsport 7. Can I request, once you, you know, get yes. back home to Turn 10 Studios, can I request that you and Brian Eckberg do a... 100%. Do a Guitar I'll Hero... I'll do the dance pad one, because that... That one's really hard because you've got to do a lot of movement. Yeah, Maybe we will 24 differ. hours of Le Mans. All right, let's... let's on a guitar, hero guitar. 24 seconds of Le Mans. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So what else have you got coming up this week at Gamescom then? Uh, well, so, you know, again, we've been showing off the car. Um, we're, we're showing off the demo that we have. Um, again, you know, uh, later uh, this month we're going to be talking about a demo that we're going to release for both PC oh, nice. uh, and console. Um, honestly, I can't wait. You know... You know, we didn't even get a chance to talk about multiplayer and all the stuff we're going to be doing with multiplayer. And while we're here, mixer integration. You know, okay. mixer, you there? yeah, mixer broadcasting in 4K, being able to see, you know, the dad sweater in 4K, getting thrown around the cockpit. Yeah. You know, it's not just a competitive sport; it makes it a really great spectating sport as well. Yeah, that must be really exciting for the work you do with the Forza Racing Championship. Absolutely, as well. absolutely. So, you know, leagues is one of our stepping stones to the Forza Racing Championship. Where we, you know, we're we're going to be, you know, tiering people based on their skill, and they're going to learn about clean racing as they move their way up to hopefully someday be able to compete in the Forza Racing Championship. Excellent. I mean, you mentioned the demo there. I'm really excited about that. I can't can you give wait. us any? Uh, it will come out a little hint before so. the end of the year. No. <laughs> It'll come out before we release. How about that? <laughs> That's going to be it, though. Uh, so I'm excited. Out? It's it's going to be very similar to the experiences.